This is it, guys. I think Amber Heard is about to get deleted from Aquaman 2. Amber, are you an Amber? All the hype, all the buzz, all the talk. Aquaman 2. What can we expect? Have you talked to Amber? How are things? It's just laughs. Something awful. Awful. Amber Heard is no stranger to controversy, but this time she's in hot water with her own co-star. Jason Momoa, who stars alongside Heard in the upcoming Aquaman 2 movie, recently made comments that left her feeling humiliated and exposed. And it seems like things are only getting worse for Heard, especially since news broke that her role in the film has been drastically reduced to just 20 minutes. Let's take a closer look at the drama unfolding between Heard and Momoa and what it means for the highly anticipated sequel to the 2018 hit film. This is painful and this is humiliating for any human being to go through. At the moment, I think we can all agree that Amber is either inches away from hitting rock bottom or is already even there. But judging by what new headlines are saying about her career, it really doesn't seem like things could get any worse for her, especially considering the recent news in which we can see how Amber Heard's appearance on Aquaman 2 will be just for 20 minutes compared to her leading role in Aquaman. After losing the trial with Johnny Depp, Amber's career was in shambles as she fought to stay in the movie Aquaman 2. She was whining about it in court. I was given a script and then given new versions of the script that had taken away scenes that had action in it that depicted my character and another character. They basically took a bunch out of my role. They just removed a bunch out. She continued to make ruckus even though millions have signed the petition to take her off the movie. Well, she's come out complaining that she had to fight to stay in Aquaman too. But the fans are nowhere near satisfied with the results. Despite the cuts, the actress would be paid as enraging the fans even more. She should be fired. She makes abused women look bad. We know she lied although the trial. She is not victim, she is the abuser. She should be in jail for all that she has done. Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom is suffering from poor test screenings, with many saying that they can't even finish the movie. Aquaman 2 is already struggling in its release. The movie has had its two small screenings so far and safe to say it is going to bomb at the box office. Insiders are less than impressed by the Aquaman sequel. The general consensus for the movie is this it is a disaster. One person wrote, I'll be honest, we're half a dozen test screenings in and it's not looking great. I've consistently heard over the last half year or so that it's boring, not as good as the first, and potentially one of the worst DCEU movies. There were rumors that people even walked out of the screening and if we're any good at taking hints, it's a big one that the movie sucks. It's shocking because the first Aquaman movie was the single highest grossing DC Comics adaptation there's ever been. But it looks like the standard has fallen miserably and you can expect a disaster waiting to welcome you this year. Amber's movie has been in the post-production stage for months. The poor test screening was another blow to this already sinking ship and now once again, Massive changes are being made to the movie. The result of the test screenings has been so bad that it has given rise to speculations that Hollywood may blacklist Amber Heard if the movie flops. Mainly because of the well-publicized issues and negative furor surrounding Amber Heard, who plays Mira in the series. The, the makers of the movie are so stressed about the sequel flopping on the box office that they're changing even the big plot lines at this later stage of production. A filmmaker confirmed this news and said, I have heard that they're doing reshoots. They're changing a significant plot point. Look, this movie, just like the first one, I'm sure the potential for goofiness is there. A lot of people don't dig that. Most of Amber's scenes from the movie have already been cut, but the head of Warner Bros. DC unit, Walter Hamada refused to accept that this was due to Amber's abuse allegations. Hamada was asked questions about discriminating against Amber and taking away her opportunities in court, but he was adamant. He says she just wasn't a great fit for the movie and did not work at all with Jason Momoa. They didn't have a lot of chemistry together. Editorially, they were able to make that relationship work in the first movie, but there was a concern that it took a lot of effort to get there. Fans even said that they love Momoa but still won't watch Aquaman 2 as it has Amber Heard in it even if it were just for 20 minutes. One of them tweeted, I love Jason, but I still won't watch anything with her in it. People are even laughing at Amber as she was replaced from a leading role to now being seen on other cast. To which, one of the fans commented, Hey hi, that's amazing. I'm glad though. I mean, you go from being in the movie's advertisements PC or a leading role. To being other cast I man, I strongly, strongly believe karma teaches the most valuable lessons. Now, with this recent news of Jason Momoa's story related to Aquaman 2 cast, it seems like things are only getting worse for Amber Heard. Many people are now questioning whether she will even have a future in the industry. It's clear that the backlash against Amber Heard has been significant. Many fans have vowed not to watch the movie. It's unclear how the studio will handle this situation. But, while Momoa's career continues to rise, it seems that Heard's future in the industry is uncertain at best. It remains to be seen how this situation will be resolved. But one thing is clear, the drama surrounding Aquaman 2 is far from over. That's it for today folks. Until next time, goodbye.